Okay, there's a few things I want to, you know, get out of my chest. And I'm going to try, I have, I probably have to do two videos, but I'm going to try to condense it as fast as possible. Um, first thing I want to say is that we need to try to move on and how we're going to move on is forgiven. I'm not saying to forget and um, we as culture have a hard time to forgive things that was done wrong. We could forgive. It doesn't mean that you have to be... <clears throat> good friend or close to that person you forgive or you think done you wrong, but you have to be able to come to the point where you could forgive and, you know, be cordial with that person. It don't have to be anything beyond that. And it's still a lot of people that still talking about things that, um, um, Camilla and Biden did in the past. Um, but we cannot move and look at the present because truly I, I think that, um, President elect Biden and Camilla is trying to do better. You know, a lot of time people are racist or they do things that's racist because of their environment, where they grow up, the things they hear, the things they learn. So they act the way they do. But when they change the environment, sometimes they think different and they see things different. And a lot of racism is, is, is ignorance, it's ignorance and lack of understanding. So with with president elect Biden being around, um, president, uh, um, former president Obama for that long, I'm sure he have learned some of the lesson and I'm sure he have wake up to a lot of mistake he made and a lot of negative thing that he did that affect our culture more. But the fact is that it's still not about the policy he put in place, but why is it affecting African Americans? Um, so much because we're already saying that policies that's put in place that affect us. We're pretty much saying that we are, we are more lead to criminal life than other race because a policy that's put in place affect us more and it shouldn't be that way. I know one of the things that has to change is that there has to be laws that put in place that forbid judges to give a different sentence to a different race than they will give to a black um, person. That's what needs to be changed. Because come the end of the day, even though these laws are put in place, the president or whoever put those law in place is not the one that's presiding over these criminal cases. It's the judge them that's, dis, um, that's um, presiding over the cases. So we need to change our um, traditional system and make sure the law in place is just what it is. Same sentence. It doesn't matter what. If you're going to sentence a black person 20 years for selling um, um, weed, you need to do the same for any other race. And take some of those powers from the judge for them to make the decision as how long they're going to sentence a person for. There should be a law in place. If you're going to sentence them for 10 years, 10 years. Doesn't matter who the race is. Don't give um, a, a different race seven, but then give a black race 10. If that's the thing, do it. Minimum maximum and that's what really needs to take place it's not necessarily that the politician who put law in place is really affecting us as an african-american it's a traditional system the judges and they most of them are pretty much racist too so if something is in place that's forbidden them for to do anything but what's in place then we're gonna have a more just system not a total but a more just system if these stuff are put in place now i know looking and hearing president elect uh, um biden that he he wants to do better he wants to make up he wants to to do things better than he did in the past and i know a lot of that attribute to being around um president obama where he learned and probably had a better understanding of what our race and our culture is dealing with and going through. Cause he could say that there's systematic racism. He says that Trump has not been able to open his mouth and believe that you cannot fix a problem. If you don't believe it exists, that's one thing. Biden believe these stuff exists. He speak on them. So give him the opportunity to make this change and stop worrying about what he did Way back then, Camilla, she is doing the same thing. She has been trying to, to change some of the laws and some of the policies and some of the stuff them that was put in place. She has been trying. So you have to give people 
the chance who you see is trying instead of don't give them the chance and just keep on looking back as to what they did in their past. People are able to change. People could change if they want to. We all have that ability if we want to. Some people just don't want to change. So now lead to this. A lot of people saying, President Obama didn't do nothing for the black race. No, you speak for yourself. If President Obama didn't do nothing for you, you say he didn't do anything for you. But there's several other black people that feel different. Now he may do some for some black people and he may not do some for some black people. It all depends on what he did and how you benefit from it. It's just like Trump. There's things Trump do that some black people say it benefit them and some black people it didn't benefit them. So we can't generalize and use that in total that President Trump did more for black people or President Obama didn't do anything for black people. It's a 50-50. You're never going to do anything that's going to satisfy everyone. You cannot please everyone. And that's it. But you know what? It's one thing um, President Obama did. He changed the stepping stone for African American when he become president. That's our history. Not only it's our history by Biden being around President Obama, he picked an African-American woman to be his VP. So that's another history Biden have gave us. Not only an African-American, but a woman. And people are posting that, oh, um, he's going to die soon and he ain't going to live out his term. But the upside, the, the, the other side to that, if he don't, now you are make another history by having an African-American being president. Stop, stop fighting our own people down by saying, oh, she wouldn't be the black person I choose. Oh, um, she's not, she don't look black enough. Oh, like, why can't we be satisfied when something is put in the stepping stone to make history for us. Be happy. We hate on our own so much and we're concerned about other culture hating on us. We are already doing a good job of it. We need to stop. She is an African American. It doesn't matter what other race she is. She is African American and she just made history for us. Accept it and be glad over it. That's all we can do. Stop cutting her down and putting her down because you feel she's not black enough. Be happy and let's work together as a nation to try to do better for the future and our kids. We can't change the past. It's one thing I want to um, finish saying. People could change. It doesn't matter how racist and bad they are. And a lot of people who African American that adopt this song as um one of our anthem for singing amazing grace a lot of people don't know that a white slave trade owner sang, sang that song he was one of the worst um slave owner out there and at the last selling of the slave one of the slaves said to him why do you do this i'm a human just like you and since that moment he decided to change his life, free whatever slave he had, and try to do whatever he could do to make up for all the things he have done bad in the past. And that's what led him to sing that song, Amazing Grace, to sing that song. So people can change if you give them the opportunity to change. Let's do that. Let's give that opportunity to see what come above. And remember, not because President Biden say things and he get in office and he didn't accomplish it. It doesn't mean that he didn't try. The fact is that it doesn't matter what he want. If the Senate, the House doesn't approve it to pass that bill, it's not going to happen. And you already hear Nick Romney says he will not sign off or vote for certain bills that President-elect um, Biden put through the house. He will not support it. So we all need to remember before we start running our mouth and saying this president doing anything for us to do your research and see if they did try to do something, but it's not up to them. No matter how much they are the most powerful man on earth, they still have to answer to a different department in order for bills to be passed and law to be passed. And if the Republican don't want to pass those bills and they don't have enough vote, it's not going to be a bill. So keep that in mind.
my time. <laughs>